Rodent droppings inside a convenience store, plus improper cooling procedures and several more violations adding up to a low score for that business. Tonight, Team's Tim Gerber didn't get many answers when he went to see what was going on behind their kitchen door. Shop and Save, located in the 1300 block of North Trinity, earned a low score of 72 on their January inspection. The inspector found food in a cooler temped between 107 and 138 degrees. The inspector reminded the worker food must be cooled to 41 degrees within six hours of being made. Eggs were left out at room temperature for an unknown time and frozen chicken was improperly being thawed at room temp. There was a leak at a sink that was causing water to pool in a 10 foot area and the inspector found rodent droppings. Hello. Hi. I stopped in this week to ask some questions, but the man behind the counter said he wasn't in charge and didn't even work there. Yeah, I'm just here for uh, some guys. He's uh, off today. He said he couldn't answer my questions, but did offer this one response. So you don't know if they fixed the issue with the rodents and think, the plumbing? I think he's, everything is fixed. A follow-up inspection confirmed the plumbing was fixed and some cleaning had been done, but the inspector found lots of roaches on the wall above a sink and microwave and a broken refrigerator with a foul odor. We also noticed they hadn't posted the latest inspection report. These two higher scores are from last year. A second inspection was ordered for March. Golden Walk, located in the 1400 block of Southwest Loop 410, earned a 76. The inspector found a moldy eggplant in the cold hold unit. It and all the other food in the same bin were tossed out. There was black and yellow mold-like buildup in the ice machine and cleaning chemicals were being stored directly above soaked mushrooms located in a bucket on the floor below. But perhaps most disturbing, the inspector watched an employee crush a silverfish bug with their hand and then continue to prep raw chicken with the same gloves on. The inspector stepped in and told the worker to wash their hands and change their gloves. Another live silverfish bug was found on a food sauce bucket on the prep table. The entire kitchen area was also in need of a thorough cleaning and organization. A follow-up inspection was required three days later to ensure all the issues were addressed. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.